Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making homemade skincare starting with a green tea scrub, a whipped body butter that's great for your hands, your feet, and your entire body. I'm also making an activated charcoal mask with clay, so it's a clay charcoal mask. And then I'm gonna be making an under eye caffeinated eye mask. It's great for tired, puffy eyes. And then finally, I'm gonna be making a lash and brow serum that is going to help condition and grow your brows and lashes. So let's just jump right in. So we're gonna start first with the green tea sugar scrub. I really like to make sugar scrubs and I've made quite a few on my channel. I'm starting with brown sugar and then I'm gonna add two bags of green tea. You can add loose green tea, but if you have tea bags, you can just open them up and add it into the brown sugar. Now, brown sugar is a little bit more gentle on your skin than white sugar, but if you have white sugar, you can go ahead and use that. And so I'm gonna just mix this together and then I'm gonna add a little bit of honey. I would say about a tablespoon of honey, but you can add however much you want. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of vitamin E oil. I just happen to have vitamin E oil, but if you have olive oil, you can use that as well. Just enough to cover the sugar and then you have a really nice moisturizing and great exfoliant for your entire body. Now let's make some whipped body butter. I've been experimenting a lot more with making body butters and I'm starting with shea butter. I'm gonna take one tablespoon of shea butter, three tablespoons of sweet almond oil, one tablespoon of jojoba oil, one tablespoon of beeswax, and I'm going to melt this over a double boiler. So basically I have water boiling underneath and then I have a bowl on top of that and I'm just gonna let that melt completely. Then I'm gonna add that, once it's had a chance to cool down for about, I would say about a minute or two, I'm gonna add this into my blender. You can use a hand mixer if you want, but I'm just using my KitchenAid here. And I'm gonna whip it up until it is completely whipped up. And you will see as it starts to cool down, it'll whip into a really nice body butter. You can also just pour this into molds and make it lotion bars if you want. I've made those before on my channel, but I really do like the whipped body butter. So I'm gonna put this in a bowl and I'm gonna keep it in my bathroom for up to a week. If you wanna store it, you can put it in a container, an airtight container, and it can last up to a few weeks. Obviously, all of these ingredients are pretty stable, so you can, you know, keep it around for a while. Feel free to use it all over your body. I like to apply it to my legs, my arms, my stomach, but I also really like to apply it to my feet and put some socks on over it before bed. And also you could do hands and gloves if you want, um, depending on how dry your skin is. But this is a really great moisturizer for really dry skin. And um, yeah, it's kind of like an all-purpose body butter. Next, I'm making a black charcoal and clay face mask. Very easy to make. I'm starting with some bentonite clay. I keep this around the house. I love using a bentonite clay mask. You can use this by itself. I've mixed it with apple cider vinegar before on my channel, but today I'm taking two activated charcoal pills. I'm opening them up and pouring them in with the clay. Now I generally keep these activated charcoal pills around because they're actually good to have for food poisoning. They absorb toxins in the body so you can take it internally. But in this case, I'm just mixing the two together, adding a little bit of water and it makes a great face mask and it's a detoxifying face mask. So I'm gonna apply a thin layer onto my skin, let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's going to harden and tighten, and then I'm gonna remove it with a warm, wet towel. So basically this is a really great mask if you suffer from breakouts because it is detoxifying. It's gonna pull the extra oils and um, dirt and grime out from your pores. And yeah, it's a really great mask, so I would definitely recommend it. Next, I'm making a caffeinated under eye mask. Super easy and really great for tired, puffy eyes. So I'm using some ground up coffee grounds and some honey, equal parts, mixing them together. And then you can apply that under your eye, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. The caffeine is gonna wake up those puffy eyes and energize and rejuvenate underneath your eyes. I would recommend keeping this eye mask in the refrigerator. The cooling effect will help reduce puffy eyes and you can perform this morning or night. Just apply a thin layer underneath your eyes, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and remove with a damp cloth. Mm -hmm. 
Finally, we are making a do-it-yourself lash and brow conditioning serum. So this is three simple ingredients. I'm starting with aloe vera. I'm taking about equal parts aloe vera, castor oil, and vitamin E, and adding them together in a small bowl. You can also put this mixture in a mascara wand container. You can find those on Amazon. I didn't get one of those, but I just keep this in the refrigerator. It creates a serum. You can just use those mascara wands to apply it onto your brows and your lashes. And you can do this every night for a conditioning and growth effect on your eyelashes and eyebrows. So hopefully you guys enjoyed these DIY beauty products. If you like this video, please be sure to thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do new videos every single week, different DIYs, home DIYs, skincare, all that fun stuff. So if you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe, check out my other channel, and check out my other videos. And I'll see you guys very soon.